Alright, so first and foremost, you got that, yeah? I can't. And um, first and foremost, we'd like to say Baraka Fah, Yahawa, Ba'asham, Yahu Shai, Ba'asham, Rakwa Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and also salutations to all of the sincere Aki and pushing out the truth, doing this great work, you know, and um, being laborers for the truth. Um, in this particular sit down, we'd like to just briefly go into the topic of the fact that Israel is going to be as the sands, the sands of the sea. Mm. There's scattered Israelites everywhere, man. You know, Israel, Israel is all over the gaff. Like, even within this vehicle, Jake will look at it in simplicity and a carnal flesh and think that there's so three so-called black men in the vehicle doing the vigil. But even amongst us, you know, whether brothers be from the West Coast of Africa or from the Caribbean, we're all from so-called different countries, different different back, cultural backgrounds, you know. Um, you know, you've got brothers in the camp that are, look like so-called Ethiopians, look like so-called white people. But ultimately speaking, we all go back to the sea. Now, you got scoffers out there, namely the you know some of these dumbfounded Christians. A man, one a man made himself profoundly known amongst Israelites as a fool, being vocab Malone talking about, um, you know, t talking all kind of mess, bro. Basically talking about how, um, you know, the seed of Israel can be open to anybody. You ain't, you ain't got to go back to the seed. You know, all kind of manner of folly, bro. Now, obviously, you ain't gonna have all Jakes looking like us. Not every Jakes gonna have a dark skin complexion. You know, a so called so-called puffed up lips and a, and, a, and, a, and a lot and a, and a particularly shaped nose man we're going to bring out the scriptures to show you that Yehabah Hashem Yahushai scattered us amongst the heathen and ultimately speaking he's going to bring us from among them so yeah man let's, let's get it in Come on, so this is Ezekiel <coughs> chapter 36 and then I'll start from verse 1 and it says also thou son of man prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say ye mountains of Israel hear the word of the Lord Thus saith the Lord power, because the enemy have said against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Therefore prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord power, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that you might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen. Fun, you see, because if you know anything about Israel's history, we went into slavery after slavery after slavery. Just read the book of Judges. We went into slavery under all of these different nations out here, you know. So, hey, another topic that a lot of these scoffers don't like to address is the fact that even amongst so-called so -called black people, so-called natives and so-called Latin Americans, you've got tears, you've got... Elam seed and Jake, you've got Moab seed and Jake, Ammon seed, you know, you've got all these nations that popped our women, had us in slavery at one point in time, and there's there's tears amongst Israel. Okay. But there's also on the side on the on the on the flip side of that, Israelites amongst these other nations, because we conquered the nations, the Edomites, the Canaanites, and you know, we would have had our ways with the with the women of their nations. But that's going into the fact that Jake was in captivity, man, to these nations. So there alone, you know, you not mixing of the seed, but you've got, you know, you've got the the, the men of those nations getting Getting into our women, man, yep. producing babies, gone, bro. Hey, and if I could just say, what would happen? Like, even our men laying down with the heathen women, you know, the child can come out looking like that woman, man. Yeah. You know, even though the child is still an Israelite, it can have the the look and appearance of the mother's side. Come. So if the mother was a Moabite, then the, that child can come out with Moabite features, man. Come. If I'm not mistaken, was it not King David whose grandmother was a Moabite? Yeah, Ruth. Come. You know, Ruth. So you know, um, so who knows? You know. These mm -hmm. things can happen, man. These things do happen in the past, present, and still now to this day, man. That's right. Go on, bro. Um, and it says, On every side that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, mm -hmm. and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers mm -hmm. and are an infamy of the people. Mm -hmm. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord power. First save the Lord power to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, to the desolate wastes, and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Um, jump down jump to um, verse 17. Uh, when it oh, says, verse 16. Yeah, yeah I scattered 16, them yeah. among the heathen. Right, um, verse 16. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way. And by their doings, their way was before me as an unclean, uncleanness of a removed woman. All right, so hey, Israel was just going off back then, man. You know, despite the fact that the Lord had given us the good land, the you know, Lord had kept his side of the bargain, but we weren't keeping our side of the bargain. Mm -hmm. All right, so carry on. Come on. And it says, verse 18, Wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherein they had polluted it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I scattered them among the heathen mm. and they were dispersed through the countries mm. according to their way and according to their doings, I judged them. Can't. So the Lord, Yahabah, Shimi Hawashah, has just said through the prophet Ezekiel that he scattered us amongst the different nations. And if you know anything about the plight of Jake, even the even the transatlantic slave trade, Jake were all over the gap. They were in Asia, they were in, in South, South America. They were in the West, so-called West West Indies. They were all up in America. You know, even in some of them Hamite territories, you'd have had Jake up in there suffering, catching hell as well. The Most High said he would scatter us amongst the heathen for a reproach for the fact that we, you know, we didn't, we, we dealt in the land and didn't keep his commandments. Now, you got it to where, you know, it's basic knowledge where, you know, you have a, you can have a so-called, so-called, I'll say it in layman's term, dark, dark-skinned man, black, so-called black man that will lay with a so-called white woman you know, and they will have a seed that will look by the worldly definition, so-called mixed race. But ultimately speaking, that seed is an Israelite baby. Mm. But then that seed will then have sex with another, another, another so-called white woman. And then, you know, that's how you know Esau is the author of confusion. Because then he's got this term called quarter cast, like mm, yeah. where, you know, you free quarters. You Like ultimately speaking, but going back to Numbers, the first chapter, it's about the seed of the father. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, the, the, you know, you come out looking you know, a certain type of way because you inherit the physical traits of, of, of your of your of your parents. But ultimately speaking, your seed goes back to Israel. The Lord said he would scatter us amongst the nations. So not only were we gonna take on their gods, their customs, we were actually gonna take on their likelihood, their their in, in their physical appearance, you know? Right. And if, if I say that's that's also what's confusion because you'll meet people and they say double like, yeah, you know, I'm a, you know I'm a eighth uh, Japanese. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know oh. I'm, a, I'm a quarter you know this yeah. you know, my, another eighth Ghanese yeah. oh, you, know, uh, you know my, 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 my granddad is uh, what do you call it it's from Poland come like the, the sperm did a Dragon Ball fusion <laughs> you know what I'm saying like, it's, like... It's, it's madness because then that same person will then and it, would you call it deal with someone else mm. right from let's say equally mixed and then so it's like so, so what is your child mm. at what point do you stop mentioning what your great great granddad was, yeah. and all of that. Well, at what point? Yeah. You know, because you really want to get technical. Everyone's been mixed some way, somehow. So mm-hmm. you just got to keep it wrong. Be like, look, man, I'm a, I'm gonna do the the patrilineal as in the line of the father, mm-hmm. right? And then just be like, because uh, that's what the scriptures say. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Huh? Huh. Yeah. Um, did you want more on that? Um, in fact, we can come back to that because later on in the verse, it talks about the Lord bringing us back into the into the land as a whole. But I know you got signs as well. Yeah, this is uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty four. It says, "And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people." Mm. From yo, all people. Yeah. All people. The Lord said he was going to scatter us amongst all people. Now, come on, man. You 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 think like ultimately speaking, we were going to look the same if we were as amongst the other nations, man. Mm. You got to understand that we were going to be mixing amongst them, and you know you're going to have babies that came out a certain type of way, and you got physical evidence of that now. Why do you think the Irish are the niggers of Europe? Why do you think in in southern Italy, you know, they they got a disdain for themselves and Italians? Why do you think like? Why, why, why do you think um, the, the, the Europeans here hate, hate them Eastern Europeans, yeah. them Romanians, them oh, Croatians? They hate, they hate them. And they hate them. Because <laughs> they, ultimately speaking, the ones in the know know where they go back to anyway. You know? And then when them Romanians come up over here, they're drinking beers, hanging around in the corners, on the, corner, yeah. on the street corners, yeah. you know, catching hell like Jake do, man, yeah. living in the ghetto. Your next door neighbour and the, and, the, and the council estate might be, or the projects, if yeah. you live in the States, might be a Romanian, so-called Polish, you know? Because it goes back to the seed, man. Mm. Now, what you got to understand is that when when the Lord punished Israel, he punished the seed of Israel because ultimately speaking, we were the ones under the under the covenant. So that's why when the scripture talks about in, in, in 1 John, that, that um, sin being the transgression of the Lord, the only people that can technically sin are those that were under the covenant anyway, which are Israelites, man. You know, regardless of what they look like. Ultimately speaking, now you've got Israelites coming from different lands. You know, you read the book of Acts, a brother can grab a brother can grab that you know actually either the first or second chapter when they came for the um the, the passover and they were men from different lands but ultimately speaking those men would have come looking different you might have had a man you might have had a man looking like straight up Selassie or some shit you know like you might have had a man that looked like a straight up Ethiopian but guess what his seed went back to Israel yeah, well, we have Come. examples of that in the camp you know Come. of brothers looking Ethiopian well I uh, you know, Ethiopian looking, but they're actually jigs, man. Mm. You know, that, you know, that's a, yeah, man. Go on. Go on. Quick one. This is uh, Amos 3 and 2. So, uh, on what you, you, you said about, um, you know, the, the Lord did this, you know, because 
because we're with Ezra. Mm. This is Amos 3 and 2. says, you only have unknown of all the families of the earth. Mm. Yeah, that's what I want to just touch on. You see, yeah, you know, there's families. There's 18 different families. See, the law don't identify with Croatia or mm. Poland or Russia or England. This is what you got to understand. Like, Esau is the, the, craft, the master crafter of wickedness. Like, you could give Esau 10 years and I guarantee you there'll be 10 new countries like, he's creating countries. He's creating artificial land masses in the sea and calling them countries and giving them borders and passports, you know? Ultimately speaking, the Most High only deals with 18 different nations. And back then, we didn't deal with no passports. There was no Israelite passport or either my, you know, citizenship card or nothing. It went back to your father, went back to your seed. That's why Yahweh Shai was known as the son of uh, as, of Joseph, his, his line being stated in Matthew's the first chapter, you know? Mm. But, yet, like, yes, you know, certain men would have looked different. But ultimately speaking, that's because of the fact that they would have had generation upon generation of living in that land, you know? But go on, right. bro. That's right. It says, Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Come. So the Lord said he was going to punish us for our, our iniquities. That's why no matter where Jacob are at, no matter what they look like, no matter where they try and flee to or where they live, ultimately speaking, what, what did they have in common? They catch hell, man. They catch holy hell because of the fact that we're all the Lord's people, man. Come. You know? Go on, bro. How about that axe? Yeah, Baba Kishar, if you can bring that out. Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. Right. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Yo, out of every nation under heaven. You know, now people will read that and they'll get it misconstrued. Like you'll have that nigga Volcab Malone read that scripture and say, Say, it's spiritual Israel. You know, anyone can come into the fold. Oh, hey, Baba Kishar, Romans the first chapter. You know, you can get into Romans, Romans 9 also. Ultimately speaking, man. When Paul went out and taught Israelite foreigners, he was teaching. He was teaching. He was teaching Israelites that had had fallen had fallen short of, of of had fallen short of not of 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 maintaining their ways. Going back to the Maccabees during the, the time of the Greeks. In fact, Bible, if you just read that again. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna read the rest of it as well. Go on. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitudes came together. And were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language, mm. and they were all amazed. Hey, it's a, it, it fucking interjects a lot. That's why, hey, brothers, I've got the gifts of the tongues. You got to use that gift, mm. right? And we've witnessed it, uh, you know, here, right, where uh, you basically had some, uh, you know, some Turks came up. You know, they weren't really down, you know, at first. <laughs> But then when the brothers started speaking to them in, in the Turkish, they were, all of a sudden you saw them, they're like, oh, yeah. Well, and they, they, they was kind of leaning in, you know, being more intrigued. I'm like, oh, yeah, you, you know, they start being intrigued, but yeah. right, just as the scripture is saying that. Yeah, 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 because if the Lord <coughs> has given you the gift of speaking another language, or the Lord might have it where, you know, your mother is a certain nation and she taught you how to speak that language and you know English as well, you got to use that to your advantage. Mm, it's man. a talent. It's a talent. It is a talent, man. Huh? You know, that means you can prophesy in two different languages and yeah. you can reach more people that could potentially be on the elect, man. Come. Come. Because like the brother saying, Jacob scattered. So you got to understand it to where, yo, Jacob are in a position right now where you've got Israelites that go back to the seed of Abraham that are spread out across these nations, really brainwashed thinking that they are these nations, but they go back to the seed of Abraham. You see, the reason that you got this confusion out in the whole world as a mess and which we're awakened to, awoken to is because people don't understand, have an understanding of biblical nationality. Mm. This is what the problem is. People think that, you know, you've got the so-called Jew that believes that it's through the mother, which is completely off. You've got everyone in the world thinking that because of this equality and feminism, that a woman has part to play in a, in a baby's nationality, when really and truly, the father is the planter, and the woman is really just an incubator like the earth. Same way you plant an apple tree in Ghana, you plant it in England. You, it might grow differently, look different. The apples might ripen at different points, but it's still going to be an apple tree, you know? Israelites, man, regardless of whether they be dark-skinned, um, you know, um, you know, dark skinned, looking like, looking, looking like so-called white people, whatever. Hey, Baba Kishar, if you can hold Daniel's nine and seven, because the Lord brought onto us confusion of face. You know, ultimately mm. speaking, not every Israelite is going to look the same. Like, so of course, when, when they account of the brothers reading in the Book of Acts, there would undoubtedly have been confusion of face. Go you know, go on, bro. If you continue with that, yeah, I'll just read this one quick. Um, verse eight, and how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? Then it goes on to list the, the places, man. Uh, Parthians and Medes, Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia in Pontus and Asia. Mm. And you know, we've got a lot of um, 
a lot of um, Jake in Asia, man. Mm. You know, a lot of Jake in Japan. You know, in China, oh, yeah. they got a whole community over there where they only listen to Benjamin. Yeah, yeah, it was she was whining in yeah. the kimono. I was like, what? Yeah, oh, bro, that's real life, man. Those are Benjamites, man. Huh? They got the same spirit and they do the same things yeah. that Benjamites do. Yeah. And then you even have a community of those Japanese that actually went over to the land of Benjamin. Mm, yep, yep, right, yep. To actually live there. I mean, the, the numbers ain't you know ain't massive or anything. Mm. Well, but you know these are things that do happen. Yeah. So, would you would you think you 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 know you, uh, 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 Desmond, right? Desmond's gonna be walking. He's like you know fifteen, sixteen years old, mm. right? He sees a nice May Ling. You're telling me Desmond ain't gonna be intrigued. Desmond gonna be like, what are this? Yeah, you know, <laughs> like, what are this? You know, he's the gonna foreign go, things. Them, yeah, yeah, yeah like, you know what I'm saying. Like, go, yeah. on, you know, and you know how children are at that age, man. Right, which hey, you know, you know, I mean, there's no even going to, you know, our children are at that age, man. They're curious, man. They want to know, you know, want to know what Mei Ling's saying, mm -hmm. and Mei Ling's trying to see what what a uh, uh, Desmond's saying. Oh. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> God. That's right, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You want more now? You? That's it, man. Yeah, you got that, man. So, uh, this is Romans. You called for this is uh, Romans one and seven. It says to all that be in Rome, beloved of the Most High, called to be saints. Grace to you and peace from the Most High, our Father, and the Lord, our Ye uh, Lord Yahweh Shammah Shayat. Right, but it says to all that be in Rome, called to be saints. Right, so we'll get uh, Psalms 50 and 5, right, which says, Gather my saints together unto me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Right, so that letter that Paul was, uh, would you call it, uh, writing to, you know the letter to the Romans. It was a letter to the saints, mm -hmm. right? And who are the saints? As we just read there, the saints of those who have made a covenant by sacrifice with the Most High, right? And who made a sacrifice uh, with the Most High, right? Mm -hmm. A covenant with the Most High by sacrifice. It was the children of Israel. You read uh, Romans the ninth chapter, right? In fact, so like, let me let me grab that as well. Oh, you go into the word sacrifice, man. You know, well, why would they need to sacrifice if they weren't under the law? Mm. You know. Only Israel was under the law. That's why they, you know, they 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 put forth a sacrifice, man, as an atonement for sins. Yeah. You know, we're the only people that the laws apply to, man. And it's a beautiful thing that Yahweh Shimei was shot. The water we've woken up to the fact that, for the most part, you know, the, the Israelites now today are referred to as Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and 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 also, you know, the brothers and the relatives scattered abroad. Because honestly speaking, not all Israel is going to come from that mold, man. You know, Israel has the sand of the mm. sea. Not every not every grain of sand is going to have the same molecular structure and flow mm. the same. You know, it's not going to be as hard as each other. But ultimately speaking, it's still sand. Same yeah. way Israel is still Israel, regardless of how they look. You know, this is Romans nine and three. It says, "For I could wish that myself were accursed from Mashiach, from my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh." So Paul said, "According to the flesh." So you talk about some spiritual Israel, but Paul was saying carnally. Yeah, oh, he was he was wishing to carry a spiritual burden for his carnal bro 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 mm. brothers, you know, brothers according to the flesh, mm. who were Israelites, man. That's a carnal thing, being that, you know, next of kin, you know, that you can't dispute that, man. You cannot dispute it, but go on, bro. Who are Israelites. Oh, woo! Yeah. yeah. To whom pertaineth the adoption? Well, you read uh, the book of Hosea, the Lord said, man, look, man, um, uh, in, in the book of Hosea, the Lord said, "You know, you ain't gonna be my people." Lord, I mean, you call your call your son Lord. Yeah, me. yeah. If you're not my people, right? Then the which the, quote, but through Yahweh Shah, which was always designed, it was always meant to be that way, right? Yeah, through Yahweh Shah, we're adopted. Right? It says, and the glory, and the covenants, right? Mm -hmm. So the old covenant, right, which is a sacrifice, uh, which call where, where uh, Moses sprinkled with the blood on on the children of Israel, mm -hmm. right? If I'm, if I'm remembering the story correctly, it was blood, right? If, mm. if I remember correctly. Right, um, and then, uh, which got the second covenant, which is the blood of Yahweh Shai, mm. right? And he, he, uh, which got, he, he, you know, he died on the sin such that, uh, died on sin, died on the cross such that we would, uh, have everlasting life, that we wouldn't go off anymore, that we would have, uh, which you call it a, a fleshly heart so that we mm. won't sin anymore, mm. right? You read, uh, as we started off with Ezekiel, the 30, 36th chapter, it was talking about how, um, you know, in the land that the Lord gave us, we kept going off. So the Lord's like, look, man, fuck, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, what you call, I ain't letting you in that land. You're going off, right? But then that's, <clears throat> but that's why the Lord wants to, needed to make a way, 
right for us to for him really ultimately as you carry on in Ezekiel 36 Lord has to make a way for him to be able to keep his promise to Israel that's right right so the only way we're going to be in that land is if we if we if we don't go off so the Lord made such a way that Israel don't go off anymore but as we were saying that that's how it was from the very beginning that's how it was designed to be hmm. right it says and the giving of the law God, so he the was law. given the law yeah he was given the law, man. 613 laws by Moses on Mount Sinai, man. We left as a mixed multitude, but then it was only Israel, man, that was dwelling there at that point in time, man. Mm. You know, go on, bro. So he's going to make a point? Yep. It says, and the service of God and the promises. Hey, the service of God. You read through the book of Joshua. You read the book of Judges. And it tells you that Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai fought for Israel, man. There were many great accounts when Joshua was fighting them Hamites, when we were going through all of them different captivities, and the Lord will continuously have mercy on Israel and send a savior. Why did the Lord not deliver Israel and Elam or Israel and Ishmael together or you know and the Lord made the promise to Abraham saying that your seed will come from your the heir to your the the the, the, the heir to your the, basically your heir will come from the, um, the, the 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 son of the of the free woman not the son of the bond woman he made a separation between Jake um he made a separation between um Isaac and Ishmael so you got to know there from there that the Lord really and truly chose Israel and yes the God of the Bible is racist if that's what you're questioning in it's your right, mind you know right, he right. cares about Israel and Israel alone man that's what I'm saying now you know people will hear the term racist and they will think of it in terms of but you've got a white guy in your camp mm. you've got an Ethiopian in your camp but this is what I'm saying because you ain't spiritually discerned we're not we're not black activists Really and truly, hey, we're Israelite activists. Yeah. We know we're out here to save Israel. Yeah, man. We hate that term black, man. You know? Mm. We hate that term black. Esau, Esau, Esau can go around. And I remember even, you know, you know, young, you know, secondary school, like, you what, 11, 12 years old, niggas are like, why is everything bad black, fam, though? You know, it makes no sense, bro. Why is everything bad black? And that's, that's what we grew up with. Hmm? Yeah. And they, oh, they'll call you coloured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of them terms. Which is, I mean, I can't even believe they made this an advert. But basically, Giesel was like, "Look, man, I think it's like it's from a Maya Angelou poem mm. or someone. It's one of them, one of them black poets, man. Mm. When it's speaking on um, uh, it was Benjamin Zephaniah. One of them, man. Doesn't matter. Speaking like how are you know when the white man sit, he turns green. Mm. When he's cold, he turns blue. When he's hot, he turns red. Mm. Right, redder." Yeah. Rather, but then you're gonna call my man colored, and then you're gonna call yeah, me yeah. colored. I'm always the same. Uh, 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 what do you call skin it? Tones. I'm always the same skin tone. Man. Yeah. May may get a bit, you know, darker in the sun. Hmm? Yeah. Hey, the uh -huh. darker the better the sea, you know. Yeah. You know. Hey, Bob, shot. Quick no, one, Bob. Go on, go. First Samuel sixteen and verse seven. But the Lord said unto Samuel. Look not on his countenance Ooh. or on the height of his stature, Ooh. because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but That's the Lord right. looketh on the heart. That's, That's right. right. That's why in Matthew's the 25th chapter, the Lord's going to come with his angels and do the sifting. Because mm. if the Lord was to physically give men the, the, the ability to go out there and, the, and the, the jurisdiction to just slay whoever they thought was he, the heathen, a lot of Jake would get slain yeah. up in that also. We'd get it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, man. Hey, we've, we've got it wrong. Huh? You know, I'm sure there are people who have come up to the camp who said you're dead X, Y, Z, and then they've been different, yeah. right? Because ultimately, like, like the brother is saying, you know, that's that jurisdiction. There's some people you know, oh, you know, like, like this guy's definitely yeah. Jacob, nah, this guy's definitely a heathen. Yeah. But then other people, you just don't know. And then brothers will be like, sometimes like, well, I don't know about yeah. this guy. Yeah. Yeah, it might take a, a while for that glimmer of that Jake to show. Yeah. You, know, you might meet, meet, meet a Jake that grew up in the land of Ham, you know, for, for most of his mm. life, man. And those ways are in, and just embedded, in pride on him. They're mm. embedded, man. Mm. You know, so he's going to seem like a Hamite, but he's really an Israelite, mm. man. And it's only until you put him in certain situations and conversations that you're going to see that he's actually an Israelite. Uh -huh. He's going to have to be <laughs> <laughs> You know? <laughs> God. Yeah, man. That's right, man. Hey, Lord, to show and one of you brothers had Daniel's nine and seven as well. Yeah. Daniel's, you know what Apostle uh, Gabar said he's gonna do a video on that. So I'm, uh, let's oh, yeah? just leave that for the time. Alright, come, alright, come, come, come. alright then, alright, alright. Right. But ultimately speaking, Israel is a speckled bird, though. You know, there's gonna be variations. There's gonna be differences. You even had it to where is that Daniel nine seven? You had um, you had it to where it's in Genesis confused, the forty. Yeah. yeah. You have it um in Genesis the forty first chapter. Don't yeah. Um, you have Genesis the forty first chapter where um. Our forefather, um, our forefather Joseph, through the Egyptian woman, had Ephraim and Manasseh. 
Now, they would have been, Joseph and the Egyptian woman would have been so, two so-called dark-skinned people. If that had happened in this society, they would have been classing it as mixed race because you would have mm -hmm. had, you know, Israel and you would have had, um, you'd have had um, a woman from the land of Martha Zion to come in together. But ultimately speaking, Ephraim and Manasseh are Israelite tribes, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that shows you that they're Israelites, man. That's what it goes back to. Now, you see, the issue whereby Hawashai was rejected by some of his people was because there was a lot of sellouts at the time. That goes back all the way down into the... But really, there were, there were always sellouts in Israel. But you had it to where, during the time of the Grecians, a lot of our people... Um, during the Hellenistic period, basically went off and started following the ways of the Grecians. You got that in the, in the book of First Maccabees when Antiochus basically decreed across the whole kingdom that no man should basically follow the law. The Israelites should be they burnt Bibles, they they, they killed prophets, they killed um, priests. You know, they forced mm. priests to eat 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 pork on yeah. the on the on the on the on the, on the pedestals and the temple so, so forth. So a lot of our people, for fear of tribulation, just basically said, "Well, yeah. can't beat them, join them in." Yeah, hey, you know? like some of us, some of them were like, "Man." Fuck this, <laughs> hey man. We used to have a good. It's like fuck. We're going. We're going. Uh, what you call? We going join on. Hey, what, you, you join your place of exercise. You know, can we can we do what y'all did? Well, you know, the gym and made themselves on circumstances. Yeah, but, but then after, what do you call it? Like that, like you was going into. This is something that's happened over and over again. Yeah. When when they left Egypt, what were they doing? Huh? Hey, Moses was up getting the Ten Commandments, and they was making idols. Yeah. They were making idols. Hmm? Right. They are before that they're like ah oh, you know the leeks yeah yeah you know up in Egypt we had the watermelons the leeks you know yeah, hey, it, yeah absolutely bro. Go on, go on, go on. our people do that all over again man that's right you man. know because what they what they were doing with, with that whole pork thing you know getting prominent figures people that you know people so called look up to to do that man so they'll think okay well if he's doing it then we could do it man mm, that's hey, the same thing they're gonna do with the chip hey can't Jay Z got the chip. Fat Joe got the chip. What did he get? Well, Fat Joe, ain't no one looking up to him. No <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, certain figures, Drake, you know, yeah, all of these yeah, celebrities, yeah. man. People are going to start getting the chip based off of seeing higher class people get it, man. That's people right. in, in, in prominent positions. Yeah. Everyone wants her to, to have the it thing, man. Yeah, hey, yeah. Rihanna shaved half her hair of all these oh, black yeah, women yeah, shaved yeah, half yeah, their yeah. hair. Right? Yeah. All these, even these uh, heathen, these women of the other nations started doing it. On to this day, you can still see that. Yep. Yeah. But uh, well, I wanted to touch, and that's why you got the account in Second Maccabees, the sixth chapter with mm. Eliezer, mm. right? When they were like, "Look, man, you know, just eat some pork, man." He was like, "Nah," you know, because people looked up to him, and it was like, "You know what? We won't even feed you pork. Right? Yeah. Just pretend like it's pork." Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was like, "Nah, I ain't doing that, man." Yeah. Why? Because like the brother said, you know, people look up and be like, "Okay, he's in a position of power." Yeah. So shit, if he's doing it. Yeah. Hey, but that's exactly how they come to these ch so called Jake church pastors now. Mm -hmm. And that's why they how I said woe to the um, pastors that you know that caused my people to air that scattered the sheep and my flock. Because yep. in the same spirit, you know, they, they rather than just coming down in an army format now, they come with business deals and suits and mm -hmm. suitcases yeah, talking about here's yeah, a yeah. here's a half a mil. Just preach this doctrine and say that it's yeah. okay to not keep the law and yeah. blah, blah blah blah. And Jake are out there doing yeah. that, man. Hey. This is Rome all over again, yeah. guys. Because hey, he, he, Esau knows you, he can kill you physically and he can kill you spiritually. That's so right. what, what Esau's been on a campaign of doing is just killing Jake spiritually over the last couple hundred years, man. Mm -hmm. Well, you got Jake, uh, what would you call it, Jake, uh, be all up into that adultery, man. Yeah. You know, all into it. You know, and the thing is, it'll be, you know, a Jake that's never, uh, he, he ain't really on no level musically, but his lyrics are all about you know, I'm a fuck your girl. <laughs> but it's like, nigga, like, you haven't even got any goals too far. Like, but because that's that energy that's pushed out on Jake, man's first album, no one even knows who he is. He's talking about fucking your girl. Mm -hmm. But hey, and one common thing is that that spirit, that wicked spirit the brother's referring to is common amongst Jake of all cultures. Mm. That's why you'll have a Jake from China, a Jake from, a Jake from India, a Jake. One, wait, if you look at all of these people that are, like going to these concerts or going to the hey you you know look you look you can you can even look it up these music artists they're selling records not just in the UK and the US they're selling music in India and all of these kind of you know all of these kind of re so called remote regions Korea's whatever but that's because 
that spirit of Jake not only does it resonate with the heathen, mm. but there's a lot of Israelite foreigners amongst these different nations, man. Mm. You know, you got you got niggas amongst amongst the gooks, niggas amongst Ishmael, niggas amongst you know all of these different nations. Not just niggas, you know, you got so-called spicks, and I call them that because a lot of our people are wicked and as hell, man. There's the Israel of Israel, and really and truly, the majority of our people are going to be destroyed, man. Mm. There's only going to be an elect saved, but. That that that, that 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 does not dispute the fact that Israel is as the sands of the sea scattered. That's why when Yahushai um in the Gospel of Matthew was speaking to the disciples, he said, "Go into the cities." Go. He, he told them to go to, to, to that he, he had a job for them to do. If Robert can even grab that real quick, but he, well, he warned them not to go in the city of the Samaritans. Oh, he said, "To any yeah. city of the Samaritans, enter ye not." Yahushai was taught, taught, teaching the the. the, the, the he, he, what he was referring to was he was referring to um, in Second Kings where you had it to where the Assyrians had taken the, the, the northern kingdom out of the land and they replaced them with, with Cushites. So you had it to where they were getting eaten up by lions because they couldn't keep the word of Yahweh and Yahweh so they had to bring in a Levite priest, you know. But ultimately speaking, the Lord there knew that those people were not the, the people of the land. That's why when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, he explicitly told his disciples not to go into the land of the, of the, the Samaritans. You got that here, bro? Right? Yes, I can't. But you know, he told his people, he told his apostles not to go into the land of the of the of the of the of the of the, of the um, Samaritans because of the fact that they were heaving up in there. That's how you know oh, this, yeah, is thing, if, if you this, this is a thing. This is a thing yeah, of the so flesh. Right. Matthew five, go on. Cool. This is uh, Matthew ten verse five. Matthew ten verse five. Go it on. says, "These twelve Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not." Mm -hmm. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, now where it's talking about Gentiles there, you gotta understand the context of that. It's talking about the natural Gentiles, the actual heathen nations. Yahweh Shai said, Go not into any of their territories, don't go into any land of the Samaritans, but go to the scattered sheep of Israel across you know the, the corners of the earth, man, and prophesy the word. Now Israel was dispersed. You read that earlier in Acts second chapter, but you know, you had a lot of Jake that still came back for the Passover. You know, you got you had Jake speaking different languages. You would have had Jake that looked like damn heathens, mm. you know, where you know their great grandfather might have been a sellout, and then you'd have had it to where their great grandchild was now looking like a mm. looking like a straight up Roman, even having their skin complexion, wearing togas and you know, and then you would have had Paul saying no this man is an Israelite his forefathers are Israelite you don't have Jake like but but he's been living good with the Romans you know our forefathers died to preserve mm. the, the the ancient Israelite way yeah. and, and you got this man that's little did that, they know they were the guys who were joining hand to hand Khan Khan that's right man that's right Israel man has always had this affinity where they think it's a carnal thing of the carnal flesh but you gotta understand it goes deeper than that it's spiritual mm. it's a very spiritual thing now you you got to, you you got to understand that the Lord put this curse upon us. He said He was going to scatter us amongst the heathen, but we might as well round it up. With, you know, back in Ezekiel the thirty sixth chapter, cool. continuing on from when the Lord said that He would redeem us from these nations, because the whole story of the Bible is in essence Israel was the chosen of the Lord. Yeah, the Lord, the people, the chosen of the Lord fell short of the glory. They went through different captivities and got scattered to the point where they lost their own heritage. The God of the Bible, being Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai, promised that promised kept the promise to our forefathers like it says in Malachi 3 and 6 therefore we are not consumed because he changeth not that he, he, he sent his son to die for us and then restore us from the nations that we were scattered amongst man. but it's always been about Israel Israel, Israel, Israel. That's why you read in James 1, it talks about the 12 tribes scattered abroad. You read Revelations, the seventh chapter, it talks about the, the 12,000 from each tribe and the one third who are Israelites also. Yeah, the Lord's going to do the, the sifting, pursuant to Matthew's the 25th chapter, and he's going to bring Jake back together. You, you got that, Baba Right, it's verse 24. And Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel 36. For I will take you from among the heathen Ooh. and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Hmm. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. Come. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will mm. I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And that's the second covenant. Mm -hmm. That's the second covenant. When you, and when you read um, up a bit as well, it says the Lord's doing all of this for his sake, because... Um, because we've profaned the name of the Lord and hey for instance man you get a you will be up at camp man right and we'll be like look man the, the so called Negroes are the, the, the son of, of God right but then you've got them guys that hand out leaflets with their low bats you know moving and acting like niggers like grimy ass niggers 
and then people will go past us, go past the camp. And he's like, these guys just said that they are the children of Israel. Ha, <laughs> lol. Right, so we've made the Lord's name. Hey, man, we profane the name of the Lord, as the scriptures say. A precept on that. All right. A quick one. Psalm 74 and verse 10. Oh, Yahweh, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme thy name forever? Mm. But it's not going to be forever, man. Mm. Like, like the brother just said, we're, we're going to be cleansed and, you know, we're going to be made perfected with our new our new um, heart of flesh, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Which is a lot, bro. We're not going to go off no more. Mm. You know, yeah. it's as simple as that. We're going to be like, you know, when you program a computer game to do a certain thing, you got triangle, you got square, you got X and O. We ain't going to go outside of the bounds of that, man. Mm. Yeah. You know, we ain't going to be trying to press, press R1 or L2. <laughs> We're going to be remaining in those four you know, jurisdictions of those buttons, man. Because yeah. we're going to be programmed to do that by Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, man. Right, man. You know? Yeah, there like, ain't no jewel shot going on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, like, like the apostles call Esau can't do right. We're going to be can't do wrong. Yeah, yeah. But exactly. It, 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 but the Lord designed it that way from the very beginning, which is where you get that Disney storyline from, mm. man. Mm. And they lived happily yeah. ever yeah. after. Yeah. But you know, it's how it's always starts off good. Yeah. Then it goes real low. Yeah. And then at the end, it comes back and then they live happily ever after. That's the story of Israel that's yeah. right started off you know I right then we fell yeah. right and then we went into hardcore bondage that's when we really fell like fell fell and it just kept getting worse and there was no way out mm. and then the Lord was like alright man cool I'm a, I'm a what do you call it I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a what do you call it bring it back up and some crazy shit happens and we gonna live happily ever after man that's right man. sail off into the sunset Vulcan right. Malone you stupid ass niggas I, and he's a they, they, hey, Vulcan Malone people like him they're the real niggas man you know that term's been used on Jake for the longest but you you either might are gonna realise that you the real niggas mm. of, the, of the planet earth man you gotta understand like think about this logically the Israelites man a group of people that have been put through hell slavery under every other nation according to the bible Matthew's the first chapter Romans the first chapter verse 3 on down Yahweh Shat, Genesis the 49th chapter, I told you the law will come from Judah, yeah? The, uh, the, the, our, a nation that's been through slavery, it's, it's at, in slavery at that time under the Roman Empire, previously been under, you know, Egypt, Babylon, Medo, Persia, Greek, Rome, you name it, all of the different mm. captivities, yeah? A, a saviour comes out of their line and you tell me he's then going to open salvation to everybody. Mm. Like, he's just come, you know, I know, you know, my people are fucked up, but, yeah. you know, you Edomites that have been putting hell on my people, yeah. come, you too, come enter yeah. into the kingdom of heaven. Let's be, think about this logically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, think about this logically. Come on, man. You know, like it's, it doesn't you make sense. Man. Putting me to death. Uh, you know, because yeah, the scriptures say a false balance is an abomination unto the Lord, and that would be a false bandage, man. Because mm -hmm. that's not that's not um, right, correct judgment, man. That's right. You know, because they gotta pay. They gotta pay for what they've done unto you, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Mm -hmm. So for the Lord to just let them get away with what they've done, which the Lord could do that if He wanted to, because the Lord could do what He wants, man. Mm -hmm. But the Lord doesn't go against his word. Right, because the scripture says, blood defileth exactly. the land and it cannot be cleansed by the, exactly, by the blood man. of him that shed it. So right. the Lord ain't going to go against his word. He's bound by his word, man. And mm -hmm. that's the beautiful thing about serving a, a just power like Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Come. If he says something, that's what's going to go forth. Hey, Malachi 3 and 6, I remember you called for it earlier on. I'm Yahweh, I change not. Yep, yep. Therefore, we sound the Jacob aren't consumed. Come. Come. That's right. Come. That's why you got to understand, Yahweh Shai came on the scene to save the dispersed of Israel. He sent Paul on a mission to go get the dispersed of Israel that had lost their ways and were following the ways of the heathen. Even among Jake culture today, you go to Ghana, you go to, you know, from Ghana, you know, like myself, you live in England for a while and you go visit there. They call you the term Obroni, which basically means England, but, you know, like, like basically posh England, boy, because you have the accent. British, boy. British but, you know, you got yeah. that in the, in, the, in the islands as well, you know. Yeah. All of the, these Jake countries have a term for, you know, for, 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 for their people that they believe are, you know, with the ways of the foreign nations, man. And that's the same way it was with Israel. They don't accept you back mm. as, you know, being holy, but what it is. You ain't authentic. You ain't authentic. And that's exactly what it is. Paul and that was pre and 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 Yahweh Shai were, were pushing the doctrine. When Yahweh Shai said he had other sheep of the fold that weren't of that fold, he was talking about the Israelites scattered amongst the different nations. You gotta understand that you had the Northern Kingdom still scattered. You know, uh, you, Yahweh Shai was on the scene with the Southern Kingdom, with the Judites, Benjamites, and the Levites. Mm -hmm. And the Levites, you would have had other 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 um, tribes mixed up in there. You'd have had remnants of you know. Inevitably, of you know, remnants of Manasseh there, yeah. Ephraim, whatever. But ultimately speaking, he came for the southern kingdom first, and then he was going redeemed, and the northern kingdom being the other tribes also. That's why they've also got accounts of you know in their history of seeing Yahweh Shai yeah. and seeing you know the chariots 
and so forth. You know, because hey, the scriptures tell you that the works of Yahweh are so great, not everything's written in the book. There's mm -hmm. going, there's a lot that we don't know that's outside of the book that's going to be revealed onto us. You know, you know, yeah. you know. But ultimately speaking, man, the seed of Israel is what it's about, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh came for the seed of Israel. Not all of the seed of Israel is going to look the same. We, we ain't all going to have, you know. Dark skin complexions and, and nappy hair, man. You know, a hair like wool. Some brothers are going. Some brothers are going to come looking like heathens. You might even get a, 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 a actual Jake out of Amalek land, which will shock a lot of your people, man. Mm, and they'll be scoffing like, "I knew everything. those GMS guys were off. I knew it. I knew <laughs> it." Because they don't understand that that, that, that it's the spirit that bear witness, man. Yeah. You know that you know that we are the with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, man. You know the seed of Israel, man, goes really and truly now. You can't just get your birthright up and say, yes, I know I go back to such and such and the son of such mm. and such. But you know it through the spirit, man. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, right. man. This is verse 28. And you shall join in the land that I have gave to your fathers. Mm. And you shall be my people and I will be your God. Mm. I will also save you from all your uncleansiness. And I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. I live happily ever after. Yeah, mm. basically. Mm. And we're going to get the melanin back, man. Okay. Jacob, we're going to look how they're supposed to look. The mm. heathen are going to look yeah. how they're supposed hey, to look. When uh, we was doing a video, we, hey, we don't even look how we're supposed to look, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. We're tiny in comparison, okay. man. Okay. You know, we weak. Yeah. We weak, man. Hey, men of old, man, they would have you know, been of a higher stature, right? They, hey, they, they, they were will, will living, even, even just in terms of lifespan, or living a little bit longer. Mm hmm. Right, right now you reach a certain age, you just have to be on them pills, man. That's right. On them pills, right? <laughs> oh man! You know, <laughs> oh, finish. You know, hey, hey, I, I know, uh, man. Hey, we we ain't even on where we're supposed to. But the scripture says, in a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, we shall, we shall all be changed. That's right. So it don't matter what a man looks like, right? That's now, right. Man. That's right, man. Spiritual, man. Yeah. Be spiritual. You know, you want to go any closing scriptures? Or? Nah. So, yeah. so yeah man I mean hopefully the point's been hit Hopefully you know it's been an edifying lesson um, You know to the hopeful elect We like to just close up right? the same. First and foremost Baraka Fah Yahweh Basham Yahweh Basham And double honor to the apostles and elders Of Great Millstone mm -hmm. And salutations to all of this and say I can push in this word regardless uh, You know as long, obviously where you go back to the seed of Israel Regardless of what you look like man If you got you know these words inclined onto you You know you know Within the spirit that you know you you more than likely go back to the man Israel man because the Lord's giving you this understanding because He ain't gonna give that understanding to no heathen you know if you got the, the and to anyone watching if you got the inkling knowing that yo you know this word resonates with me and I'm you know more than likely a, a child of Jacob pray to the Lord man ask for the signs you know ask for some ask for discernment and you how about you how are you know you get your prayers answered man Carl. one more scripture bro we can share go on bro that's what you just said uh, John 10 and 27 my sheep hear my voice that's man, right and I know them and they follow me that's, that's right. right you know so if you look man if, like, like the brother said if you hear this word and it resonates with your spirit you're gonna do the right mm. thing man yeah. you know you're gonna you're gonna actually follow Yahweh Shai yeah and don't let the demon of doubt fuck that's with it. you that's it yeah yeah don't let the demon of doubt fuck with you man you know, don't don't let your, your complexion, you know, you wake up in the mirror, you see that you got pale skin, you think, no, nah, I can't be. No, you can be, man. Because look, man, there's there's many Israelites out there. Look, man, millions, man. Where's the sons of the sea? Sons of the sea. That have no melanin, man. Mm -hmm. It don't mean anything, man. Or you might even look like a, uh, you know, an Indian, man. The Jake is out there. You might be yeah, Japanese yeah, watching yeah. the video. And you're thinking, I ain't going to camp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, have you seen one of them? Yeah. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I can't. Yeah, that neck and hand movement and yeah, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you got Jake everywhere, man. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't think that you know you ain't a Jake because yeah. of that, man. Um, and that, and it goes deep as well. The accents. You can't think just because a man yeah, don't yeah, speak yeah, English, yeah, he's yeah. not Israelite. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hey, yeah. no, I'm. Hey, I, I was. Uh, I wasn't yeah. being spiritual as one geezer that I work with. Man's posh as fuck. Man's posh as fuck, but one day I was like, you know what? This guy's actually a Jake. Because for me, I was like, you know, because he's posh, as if to say you won't, you won't have, you have some Jakes that, that are from money. And I come to find out he, his, his line is Irish line anyway. Yeah. Right? And I was like, nah, that guy's too witty to be a fucking heathen, man. Right? But hey, ultimately, the thing that, uh, that, that, that it comes down to is whether you get these scriptures or not, because you might be there, you know. Like, you know, I've been watching the apostles for a while, but I'm not witty. You know, I don't dance. You know, I can't. I can't dunk. I can't do a layup. 
Might be yeah. an undercover hammer. You know? <laughs> you know, I might be this, that, and the other, but ultimately it comes down to whether this this word resonates with you. That's it. Uh, you know right? That's right. So, yeah, man. Hey, man. Barack of all your heart, boss. Yeah, boss. Sure. Boss. 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 Boss.